Hello, Scratchers. In previous episodes, I made an MMORPG with a wonderful chatbot. Dark Jin in our Discord server inspired me. In this project, you can edit the map with a beautiful tail set. What if the state of the map could be synced to all players? Like this, this project would be an RPG version of Minecraft. Today, let's make it come true. I will show you how to sync the state of the map with a simple MMO extension and how to build a save and load system with the data utils extension. And now, here we go! Let's open the project. It has been published on CoCareer. You can find the link in our Discord server. We also developed some useful Discord bot. For example, you can get a code analysis report of a Scratch project. We are still working on them. Come and try them out. Let's jump into the project. First, sync the state of the map. When a player edits the map, other players can see the change on their stage. All information about the map is stored in the list grid. The change in the map can be regarded as the change in the list grid. We can use the message function in Simple MMO to build this system. When a player edits a map, broadcast a message to other players. Hey, I just put a bush on this grid. Then all players can modify their grid list. Let's code it. The message should be broadcast after the list has been modified. In Gandhi IDE, you can search for a specific block. Click here. Input grid. You can see the replace block. Click on it. Here it is. Add a broadcast message block here. I will use filter blocks to find blocks. The type can be the index of the grid, which is stored in the variable temp. The content is the tail number, which is stored in the brush variable. Then, when a new message is received, if the type of the message is not chat, Replace the item in grid. The index is a message type, and the value is the content. Okay, let's test it. Great, now you can create a world with friend in this project. The message function in Simple MMO has a lot of potential. What else can you think of to do with it? Leave it in the comment. Now players in the game can sync the map, but a new player will miss all messages. When connecting to the room, the map will be the original one. Let's fix it. In the simple MMO extension, each online room has extra data. The extra data can be assigned and obtained by all players in the room. I can assign the extra data of the room to the latest grid list, so that new players who connect to the room can obtain the latest data of the map. Let's code it. The extra data of the room should be updated when the map is edited. Find the replace block again. I want to put all scraps about saving and loading the map in the level store. Add a broadcast block here. Create a new broadcast. Update map. Then go to the level store. When I receive the broadcast update map, assign the extra data of the current room to the grid list. Mm, 
but wait, if I just save the grid this way, how can a new player assign the value to the list? Some blocks in the data utils can help me. Let's install them. Click the extension button. Find it and install. This block can parse a list to JSON data. Never heard of JSON? Don't worry, you don't need to know a lot about JSON. In this project, you can just use it. If you want to learn about it, I recommend this video from the coding train. Back to the code. This block can replace the list with JSON data. Let's test it. Make two lists named A and B. Press A to JSON data. Then replace B with the JSON data. Great. It's so convenient. Back to the project. Assign the extra data to the JSON data. And then, when a player connects to the room, replace the grid list with the extra data. Let's test it. Great, now everyone who connects to the room will see the same map. The map is stored in the extra data of the room. Question, if all players in the room leave the game, what will happen? The answer is, the extra data will disappear together with the room. If you have worked with your friend for several hours, that could be a disaster. In this case, I can use the data utils in Gandhi IDE. It's like the cloud variables in Scratch. The data stored with it will be persistent. We have a blog to show you how to choose between cloud variables, data utils, and a simple MMO. Now, find this block. Use it to save data with a key. You can choose from project data or user data. The data saved in the project can be obtained by all players who run this project. The data saved in the user can only be obtained by the player who saved it. In this project, the map should be obtained by all players, so I choose project data. The key is grid, and the content should be the JSON format grid. Now, some scratchers might put it in a forever loop. Data utils support high frequency writing and reading, but this is not a good way. It will cause a relatively high server load. I will use the timer to set a condition. If the timer is greater than 60, save the data and recite the timer. That means the player can only save once within one minute. Every player can save the data to the server. This is unnecessary. I will set the first player in the room as the host of the room. Only the host can save the data. When the host leaves the room, the next player will become a new host. Add it to the condition. Add a notification to the chat board. When I receive tick player, try to save the map. Put this script here. Now, when a new player connects to the room, there are two situations. If the player is the first one in the room, load the grid data from the server, and then assign the extra data of the room to the grid. If the player is not the first one, just replace the grid list with the extra data of the room. 
Okay, let's test it. Fantastic! Now we have a save and load system. The last step, let's polish the project. Because of the loading time, there are some glitches at the beginning of the project. I will make a load screen to cover them before everything is perfect. Create a new sprite, draw a loading screen. When the green flag is clicked, show it. When the player connects to the room, hide it. Let's test it. Great, it looks good. Next time, maybe I can add a battle system to this game. Tell me what you want to see in the comment. I will try to make it. Don't forget to subscribe and join our Discord server. See you next time.